Hello chess lovers, Soren here and in this video I would like to share with you a fantastic attacking game played by Armenian chess grandmaster Rafael Vahanyan. His opponent is Hungarian chess master Gyozo Forintos and this game was played in 1975 at Alekhine Memorial. Let's see what happened on the board. Vahanyan opened up with d4 and Forintos responded with knight f6 c4 e6, knight f3, d5, knight c3, where the queen's gambit declined three knights variation, bishop e7, bishop f4, black castles kingside, e3, knight d7, queen c2 and c6, black is setting up a very solid formation after which we have c takes d5, knight takes d5 and we also see the exchange of knights on d5 after which Vanyan played bishop d3 and targeted the pawn on h7. This allows black to play bishop before check, yes bishop before check is on the board after which it was in here that Vahanyan made a very interesting decision. Instead of covering his king by playing knight d2, Vahanyan played king e2. Look at this insane move, guys. Yes, he's keeping the knight on f3, which soon will jump on e5 square, and at the same time Vahanyan is connecting his rooks. At any moment the rook can come on g file and support the g pawn. Black played knight f6, protected the pawn on h7 and we have knight e5, rook e8 and another aggressive move, this time we have g4, look at these guys, yes white is intending to launch an immediate attack, right now the threat is g5 and then bishop takes h7. Black responded with g6, blocked the light squared bishop's diagonal but Actually, there was nothing wrong with capturing on g4 with a bishop. If knight takes g4, then knight takes g4. And if bishop h7 check, then king h8. And now if h4, in order not to allow any possible queen h4 jumps, then queen f6. And if queen f5, then queen takes d4. And after king f3, knight e5 check, king g2, queen e4 check and the exchange of queens on e4, bishop takes e4, knight c4, bishop f5, yes the players have equal chances, but in our game after g4 we have this defensive g6 move, yes which allows white to proceed with his aggressive intentions, Vanya first played rook g1 and after bishop d6 this time pushed forward his h pawn, c5, in return black wants to open up the center and try to target white king but Vanyan didn't even pay attention to black's intentions and proceeded with his attack, h5 is on the board, c takes d4 was played and this time we have h takes g6, Vanyan is sacrificing his knight on e5, Bishop takes e5 was played and this time we have g5, look at these guys, the board is simply burning, bishop g4 check was played, actually this is the best defensive move, otherwise if a move like bishop takes f4 then g takes f6 is coming and if h takes g6 then bishop takes g6 sacrifice is coming and yes black's position is going to collapse quickly, in our game after g5 with bishop g4 check and another insane move rook takes g4 look at this this time Vanyan goes for an exchange sacrifice here Forintos played rook c8 which is a total mistake so far so good black was managing to defend successfully and the players had equal chances but after rook c8 move black's position collapses quickly it was better to accept the rook sacrifice and capture on g4. If g takes f7 check then king takes f7 and if rook takes h7 check then king g8. Yes, black is managing to defend. Here white can play a beautiful bishop c4 move, open up the queen's diagonal and at the same time later after queen d6 can go for a deflective bishop takes 
d5 sacrifice but black can simply accept that sacrifice and there is nothing that white can do all white can do is to give a perpetual check but probably from afar all this looked very scary and after rook takes g4 we have rook c8 here comes g takes h7 check king h8 and bishop takes e5 this time vanyan is sacrificing his queen this is insane guys here black captured on e5 but actually there is no difference between rook takes c2 or rook takes e5 if rook takes c2 straight away then a similar line we will see in our main game in our game after bishop takes e5 we have rook takes e5 and g takes f6 yes vanyan is simply insisting on sacrificing his queen finally forintos accepted the queen sacrifice and we have bishop takes c2 right now the threat is rook g8 check here forintos played d3 check a desperate attempt but Anyways, whatever black plays, black's position is lost. Queen c8 could have prolonged black's resistance, but after rook g8 check, once black is losing his queen, black's position is totally lost. White can play bishop f5, create a mating threat. If king g8, then rook h5. There is a threat of giving a discovered check and winning the rook. If rook e8, then bishop h7 check. Of course, now king f8 can be made with rook g5 black king is getting checkmated and if king h8 then bishop e4 check followed by rook g5 and then bishop takes d5 yes black's position is totally lost in our game after bishop takes c2 with d3 check and after bishop takes d3 rook e8 rook g1 finally we have a resignation the threat is rook g8 check and yes actually black king is in a mating net let's just make a random move d4 then rook g8 check is coming and then after queen takes g8 white can play rook h1 check and yes black king is getting checkmated and then rook d1 the game is over that's why after rook g1 we have a resignation just a fantastic game by rafael vanyan i've already forgot how many sacrifices we saw in this game which was simply astounding in the end a beautiful chess puzzle for you please take a look at this position and try to find the winning move for white i will wait for your answer in the comment section Thanks for watching, if you liked this game give the thumbs up, for more games consider subscribing to my channel, also press the bell button to get notified about new uploads, I will see you in my next video, take care.